Hi, and welcome to Bill of Lost Souls. Today we have a bit of an interesting one. We're going to be unboxing the new Fallout Faction starter set. So Fallout Factions is a new skirmish game from Aphidius. It's a relative of their larger scale uh, tabletop war game, uh, Fallout Wasteland Warfare. So without further ado, we're going to crack this open, show you what's inside show you the range of minis, and then wrap it up with my thoughts and whether or not this is worth getting. Alright, here we are. For starters, get your playing tokens. All the standard markers you need to play, some of them are kind of funny, you get Ball Boy on some of them, some Nuka Cola's, Cappy. Then, a whole lot of terrain. These are little lock-in cardboard pieces that let you build Nuka World themed scenery to fight out. Look pretty decent. Interestingly, these all seem to be taken from almost exactly from the models used uh, in the game like you can build these in your settlements <laughs> and like these are billboards you can see on the map which is uh, pretty cool next up we have the game mat pin up on the back and on the front they have the nuka world ground so this aside get to that last we have crew rosters for both players, lets you keep track of your crew as well as your kind of RPG quest line elements. We'll get to that in a minute. Then, of course, the sprues, two for each raider group. The sculpts are very nice, as are most of the Wasteland Warfare uh, models from which these are derived. You can see these are actually basically one-to-one -one from the models in the game. So, for example, this seems to be an operator. Yeah, it's an operator. Sprue, you can see they're wearing the exact same suit and ties with the bullet bandoliers. On top of that, they have really one-to-one -one great recreations of the guns that actually the operators have in their loot pool. So you'll notice there's like the sniper rifle variant of the 7.62 assault rifle. And then of course we also have the pack. Pretty faithfully recreated models. You can see they're wearing kind of the exact same stuffed animal, kind of crazy feral looking gear as they are in game. And of course it's the pack so they have a bunch of extra melee weapons like, like here you can see they have a baseball bat wrapped in barbed wire if you want to go all Negan. But overall, these are pretty cool, uh, pretty well put together sculpts. One thing I will say is that although these weapons are very nice, most of them are built into the arms of the character that's supposed to be holding them, uh, which may prove troublesome if you're buying this model specifically to kit bash. It might prove to be a bit of an obstacle because some of these look really on there, but overall, very good quality uh, models. We have the basic, some 10 sided uh, red dye. More 10 sided die. Zero through nine on that one. Fallout measuring tape for measuring the distance between units that are fighting each other and all of the base plates you'll need for these models. Finally, why you probably buy this box, the Fallout Factions rulebook. So this game is a bit interesting in a few ways. Smaller scale and faster paced than standard wasteland warfare but other than that it's pretty standard for a skirmish game like this interestingly it carries over a decent amount of rpg mechanics like there's special stats you can get for individual units um there's also ways to play through longer narrative campaigns here we have some scenarios these are like the mission cards in say 40k there's some kind of interesting ones here like you'll notice this one is Defender set up dead center and then attackers set up in all the corners around them. This one where they set up on either side and fight in the middle. It's kind of interesting. And then, of course, we have the actual army stats for the three supported factions currently. The pack, the operators, and the disciples. And if you buy the starter set, you'll be able to play it right off the bat. Alright, so this is an interesting box and an interesting system. It has some interesting kind of RPG mechanics, almost. And if you're looking to play a, like a quicker, smaller version of Wasteland Warfare, this can be a good entrance. Uh, my only kind of thoughts are that Wasteland Warfare already isn't super heavy model count. You're never going to have more than like, I think it's like 20 or 30 models. Also thematically for the game, at least for this first wave, uh, Fallout Factions is all about Nuka World. The only thing I can say about that, and probably my first thought when we got this box, is that <laughs> Nuka World is just about the least memorable, like, major Fallout expansion ever. Uh, and the Nuka World Raiders are even less memorable. I mean, I can't think... <laughs> I don't know anyone who did it on, like, their actual first playthrough just go and wipe out the Raiders. Fallout has a lot of cool narrative uh, groups, factions, ideas. 
uh, stuff, but I can't imagine that many people are like fans of like the disciples or the operators or the pack in the same way that you'd have people that are fans of like the Brotherhood or the Enclave or the Legion or the NCR. So if, if you're interested, you can just pick this up and start playing and think it's a good value. And even if you aren't, uh, I would still keep an eye on Fallout Factions as a system because it looks kind of interesting. Uh, it has some pretty big names behind it. A guy who worked on Necromunda and Adeptus Titanicus, for example. So it's a well put together game system, as you can see from how in-depth the rules are. But I would definitely keep my eye on and see if they do any further releases of non-Raider stuff. Because yeah, that's that's really, the, the Raiders are just not very compelling. They're not very, not, I mean, there's no one, no one's a pack fan. But in the future, if they add, I don't know, an NCR fire team or the Enclave or the Minutemen or all these units that they already have ranges for, I could see this being a pretty fun game. Regardless, that is going to do it for this video. Thank you for watching.